kan? After extensive research into the user, task and environment, development began with idea generation and ideation. The first breakthrough was recognising that, much like how autonomous vehicles use computer vision to track lane lines in their environment, the same technology could be applied to assist visually impaired swimmers. Tests were conducted in a pool in order to work out the best position to mount this system, accounting for each stroke. With an idea of the electronic components required, a schematic plan could be drawn up and detailed design development could begin. The challenge was to fit it all in a compact, streamlined device that was also fully waterproof. One of the last steps was to build and test a functional computer vision system. As seen in this scale model, the prototype successfully tracks lane markings by measuring the user's angular and linear displacement. This data is fed into a PID controller loop which calculates the directional corrections indicated by the green LEDs. A significant challenge was overcoming the impact of head roll and pitch as the user moves through the water. The solution was to make use of an IMU sensor to track the device's rotation and only take readings when a reliable threshold is met. This is shown by the blue LED. Finally, in order to replace the tapper, the device can be seen to effectively recognize the ends of the lane and alert the user when to turn. This is indicated by the red LED. Beyond just improving conditions for blind swimmers, the device can pay for itself in as little as 30 hours compared to hiring a conventional poolside tapper. Lots more development is required, but I hope that this demonstrates the potential this design has in solving a real problem. <laughs>